In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Hello, everyone, and welcome to our celebration of this Holy Mass once again. It's the sixth Sunday and the time of Easter. Thank you, God, for your passion, death, and resurrection. Thank you for saving us through your Paschal Mysteries. Welcome to St. Stephen Church. Hello, Felix and Nanay Zen and Gabriel and EJ. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God, May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Grant, Almighty God, that we may celebrate with heartfelt devotion these days of joy, which we keep in honor of the risen Lord, and that what we relive in remembrance may always hold to in what we do. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The first reading, a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed the Christ to them. With one accord, the crowds paid attention to what was said by Philip. When they heard it and saw the signs he was doing. For unclean spirits, crying out in a loud voice, came out of many possessed people, and many paralyzed and crippled people were cured. There was great joy in that city. Now when the apostles in Jerusalem heard that Samaria had accepted the word of God, they sent them Peter and John, who went down and prayed for them that they might receive the Holy Spirit, for it had not yet fallen upon any of them. They had only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then they laid hands on them and they received the Holy Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Las obras del Señor son admirables, aleluya. Las obras del Señor son admirables, aleluya. Que aclame al Señor toda la tierra, celebremos su gloria y su poder. Cantemos un himno de alabanza. Digamos al Señor, tu obra es admirable. Las obras del Señor son admirables, aleluya. Que se postre ante ti la tierra entera y celebre con cánticos tu nombre. Admiremos las obras del Señor, los prodigios que ha hecho por los hombres. Las obras del Señor son admirables, aleluya. Él transformó el mar rojo en tierra firme y los hizo cruzar el Jordán a pie en luto. Llenémonos por eso de gozo y gratitud. El Señor es eterno y poderoso. Las obras del Señor son admirables, aleluya. Cuando temen a Dios, vengan y escuchen, y les diré lo que ha hecho por mí. Bendito sea Dios que no rechazó mi súplica ni me retiró su gracia. Las obras del Señor son admirables, aleluya. The second reading. A reading from the first letter of Saint Peter. Beloved, Rejoice to the extent that you share in the sufferings of Christ, so that when his glory is revealed, you may also rejoice exultantly. If you are insulted for the name of Christ, blessed are you, for the spirit of glory and of God rests upon you. But let no one among you be made to suffer as a murderer, a thief, an evildoer, or as an intriguer. But whoever is made to suffer as a Christian should not be ashamed, but glorify God 
because of the name. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Give glory to your Son so that your Son may glorify you just as you gave him authority over all people, so that your son may give eternal life to all you gave him. Now this is eternal life, that they should know you, the only true God, and the one whom you sent, Jesus Christ. I glorified you on earth by accomplishing the work that you gave me to do. Now glorify me, Father, with you, with the glory that I had with you before the world began. I revealed your name to those whom you gave me out of the world. They belong to you, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything you gave me is from you, because the words you gave to me I have given to them and they accepted them and truly understood that I came from you, and they have believed that you sent me. I pray for them. I do not pray for the world before the ones you have given me, because they are yours, and everything of mine is yours, and everything of yours is mine, and I have been glorified in them, and now, I will no longer be in the world, but they are in the world while I am coming to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. And now I will no longer be in the world, but they are in the world while I am coming to you. We also are happy to have with us in this Mass everyone from around the world joining us in the Philippines. Um, we pray for the Philippines too. And uh, also, Nane Zen, happy birthday in May. And we offer this Mass for you. And also, at the Jessica, get well real soon. We offer this Mass for your uh, quick recovery from your injury. And also, uh, Ati Dale, we love you, we, we miss you, and we pray for your healing as well. And also, um, last week, I apologize if I will be speaking in Tagalog. Last week, I uh, Aberia because I forgot to mention uh, Auntie Beria. So Auntie Beria is my aunt from my dad's side, and they, uh, my dad and, and uh, um, Auntie Beria, uh, passed away last year, and their death, the day, the time of her death, their death was really close to each other. So uh, I'm sure that Dad and Auntie Beria are having fun in heaven. We love you, Dad. <sighs> Praise the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. God is the best all, all the, time. the time. I can do everything in Christ. In Christ he strengthens, strengthens me. me. And the Lord is my shepherd. There is there nothing, is nothing I, shall I shall want. So this will be a, a long homily. 
So uh, anyway, the advantage of a video mass is you can just uh, skip the homily. You can just fast forward and move it. But anyway, for those who love my homily, uh, especially my mom, you can just uh, listen to it again and again. But anyway, um, so, um, so Jesus was quite human as he was, quite worried what's going to be the future of his disciples when he's gone. So he was praying this prayer in the gospel. He was praying to his heavenly father, Father, please take good care of them because I will no longer be with them physically. And were the disciples able to manage uh, the absence, the physical absence of Jesus? Of course. How did that thing happen? It's been 2,000 2000 years, two centuries, and still they are here, even if Jesus has gone up to heaven. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. That made all the difference. <sighs> the disciples of Jesus were able to continue their mission work, even if Jesus had gone up to heaven a feast day, which we will celebrate next Sunday, the ascension of Jesus. The reason why they were able to continue their work is because of the Holy Spirit. In the first reading from the Acts of the Apostles, the Holy Spirit was at work in the deacon, Philip. Deacon Armando, we love you, Irene. And Deacon Armando, by the way, will also give a sharing, a homily in Spanish in this Mass. Uh, he will just send us the video. So, EJ, thank you. So, the Holy Spirit was, was very, very much involved, uh, especially as Jesus had given them the Holy Spirit. Through the Holy Spirit, Philip, and the rest of the community, especially the leaders of the church, starting with the apostles, they were able to do everything that Jesus was doing. They were able to heal, they were able to expel demons. They were able to, um, to do amazing things, preaching. Remember, most of them hadn't even gone to school. And they were able to preach very much boldly, especially speaking the truth that Jesus was the one, the Messiah they were, they were, they'd been waiting for. So, have you ever been confirmed? That's my question to you. Have you ever been confirmed? And I guess a lot of us are still not confirmed. Why? This is just my theory. Why do I need confirmation? I, I already got my baptism. Please. Confirmation is so much important. In confirmation, we receive the Holy Spirit. We are strengthened by the Holy Spirit to be bold followers of Jesus. Why then, in the first reading from the Acts of the Apostles, would John and Peter, the two apostles of Jesus, have to travel from Jerusalem to Samaria to lay their, their hands on these new converts through Philip? Because they believed in the importance the necessity and the power of the Holy Spirit when given to us, when we're confirmed, strengthened by the Holy Spirit, with the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit is very, very important. My dear friends, get confirmed. Please make that sacrifice. It's worth it. Here in, in uh, the U.S., we will need to really make a sacrifice by attending classes uh, just to uh, receive the sacrament for two years, but it's worth the energy because you are once again learning, learning, learning more. It's a, you know, a review of our faith. But anyway, again, the Holy Spirit is somebody we need. In the second reading from the letter of Peter, Peter said, brace yourselves. Praise yourselves. You will be experiencing hardships as you follow Jesus, as you 
um, proclaim the gospel. But how can we do that with the Holy Spirit? Please, we need the help of the Holy Spirit because this is, again, a very human church. You'll see all the sins here in our church. Immorality. Everything. Selfishness, the greed, the ambition. We have flawed people of God. And the reason why, the only reason why until now this human church has survived is because of the Holy Spirit. Can you please tell me what institution you know that has been established from the time of Jesus until now? that has survived all these centuries and has ex still has existed until today. Tell me, nothing. There's nothing else. There's no other institute, not even the Roman Empire, not the Nazis, not the communists. It's the Catholic Church. Because this is, in spite of, besides being a human church, it's a divine, divine church because of the Holy Spirit. Jesus is still present with us, encouraging us through the Holy Spirit. We need to be humble, always saying, Holy Spirit, I need you. I wish, I wish that you pray to the Holy Spirit every day when you start your day, when you start work, when you do something. And at the end of the day, thank you, Holy Spirit. Don't forget that. Be humble to always recognize that you need God and the Holy Spirit. So that through the Holy Spirit, we will always, always be ready to get up every day, rejoicing, happy, even if, if we're going, going to face a lot of trials as we live the faith. It's difficult, and we need the Holy Spirit, so we will never stop, we will never give up, we will never go to any other church but the Catholic Church because we've got everything here, man. God, there's no other religion that gives you the body, soul, blood, divinity of Christ. It's all here, man. So we need the Holy Spirit so we will continue to be loving as we accomplish, as we do our tasks. We do it with love. Just like Mother Teresa, doing little things with great love. And unfortunately, sometimes we do things, we, um, we do our tasks, our ministry. It's just work, man. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a ministry. It's gotta be, it's gotta be a ministry. It's a, a service done with love for Jesus, for others. So we will continue through the Holy Spirit laying down our lives, always, always brave to face the, um, <clears throat> the new persecutions of this day. We'll always be ready to make that sacrifice just like Jesus. Because uh, there's no, no one could say that I am a follower of Jesus without the cross. Nope. You can never say that. Every one of us who are true followers of Jesus, we need to face the crosses of our lives, carry crosses with a smile. Because of the Holy Spirit, the Pope is able to lead the church with wisdom, with perseverance. Pray to the Holy Spirit so that the Holy Spirit will always guide our Pope, will always keep our Pope strong in his faith, strong as he faces the challenges of his papacy. We need the Holy Spirit so that we could always boldly preach what we need to preach. We will never be silent in the face of, of all these wrong things going on around us. We will be bold enough to speak the gospel. 
we need the Holy Spirit so we will persevere in our faith so that every single day we will be able to live our faith day by day. Day by day, oh dear Lord, three things I pray, to see Thee more clearly, love Thee more dearly, follow Thee more nearly, day by day, to see Thee more clearly, love Thee more dearly, follow Thee more nearly, day by day, day by day, day by D major seven. Aro aro. Kapi kapi. Day by day. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For as man and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us now offer up to our Heavenly Father all of our needs, including the needs we have in the silence of our hearts. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That empty storefronts, holes in the asphalts, vandalized cars will tell us of our failures in the cities of this world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That we will seek peace by reading the facts and searching out the issues rather than by avoiding them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That by not being afraid to listen to angry voices, we will begin to hear the sorrow of the human heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we will not see the solutions we devise for the problems of our cities or country as a monument to our immortality, but only as steps toward better answers. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the power of God's love to consume us, that we may exercise our ministry of reconciliation with courage. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of infinite wisdom, your Son promises to remain with his church always by sending us his spirit of love. Help us to remain in him with a hope that never fails. Let our prayers come before you this day through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
And uh, we also pray in this Mass. We offer this Mass for all of our members of our church, St. Stephen, those who are elderly, those who are sick. Uh, we pray for the healing, for those who are uh, experiencing uh, financial difficulties. Lord, please, we offer this Mass for them. Amen. Pray, my dear family, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his church. May our prayers rise up to you, Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of all to fulfillment in the reality of the cross. And by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim.
we shall pray this Eucharistic prayer in Spanish. Santo eres en verdad, Señor, fuente de toda santidad. Por eso te pedimos que santifiques estos dones con la efusión de tu Espíritu, de manera que se conviertan para nosotros en el cuerpo y la sangre de Jesucristo nuestro Señor, el cual cuando iba a ser entregado a, a su pasión, voluntariamente aceptara, tomó pan, dándote gracias, lo partió y lo dio a sus discípulos, diciendo, tú me coman todos de él, porque esto es mi cuerpo que será entregado por ustedes. Del mismo modo, acabara la cena, tomó el cáliz y dándote gracias de nuevo. Lo pasó a sus discípulos diciendo, Tomen y beban todos de él, porque este es el cáliz de mi sangre, sangre de la alianza nueva y eterna, que será derramada por ustedes y por muchos para el perdón de los pecados. Hagan esto en conmemoración mía. Este es el misterio de la fe. Por tu cruz y resurrección, por tu cruz y resurrección, nos has salvado, nos has salvado, Señor. Así pues, Padre, al celebrar ahora el memorial de la muerte y resurrección de tu Hijo, te ofrecemos el pan de vida y el cáliz de salvación y te damos gracias porque nos haces dignos de servirte en tu presencia. Te pedimos humildemente que el Espíritu Santo congregue en la unidad a cuantos participamos del cuerpo y la sangre de Cristo. Acuérdate, Señor, de tu iglesia extendida por toda la tierra y con el Papa Francisco, con nuestro Arzobispo José y todos los pastores que cuidan de tu pueblo, llévala a su perfección por la caridad. Acuérdate también de nuestros hermanos que se durmieron en la esperanza de la resurrección y de todos los que han muerto en tu misericordia. Admíralos a contemplar la luz de tu rostro. Ten misericordia de todos nosotros y así con María la Virgen, Madre de Dios, su esposo San José, los apóstoles y cuantos vivieron en tu amistad. A través de los tiempos merezcamos por tu Hijo Jesucristo compartir la vida eterna y cantar tus alabanzas. Por Cristo con él y en él, a ti Dios Padre Omnipotente, en la unidad del Espíritu Santo, todo honor y toda gloria por los siglos de los siglos.
At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, everyone. Peace, Felix. H.A. Hey, Nanai Zen. Happy birthday. Gabriel. People of God of St. Stephen and everyone around the world. Peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not, Lord, I'm not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only Lord, say the, the word, word and my soul shall be, shall be healed.
and we shall pray a prayer for the end of the coronavirus. Thank you, Felix. Let, all, let us all seek together the maternal intercession of Our Lady of Guadalupe. Holy Virgin of Guadalupe, Queen of the Angels and Mother of the Americas, we fly to you today as your beloved children. We ask you to intercede for us with your son, as you did at the wedding in Cana. Pray for us, loving mother, and gain for our nation and world, and for all our families and loved ones, the protection of your holy angels, that we may be spared the worst of this illness. For those already afflicted, we ask you to obtain the grace of healing and deliverance. Hear the cries of those who are vulnerable and fearful. Wipe away their tears and help them to trust. In this time of trial and testing, teach all of us in the church to love one another and to be patient and kind. Help us to bring the peace of Jesus to our land and to our hearts. We come to you with confidence, knowing that you truly are our compassionate mother, health of the sick and cause of our joy. Shelter us under the mantle of your protection. Keep us in the embrace of your arms. Help us always to know the love of your son, Jesus. Amen. Thank you very much, Felix. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Just a few announcements. Um, again, happy birthday, Nani Zen and May. Nani Zen is the mother of Felix, um, and the sister of Felix is May. And also, next Sunday will be Ascension Sunday Feast, uh, the going up of Jesus to heaven. And also, please continue praying for all of our parishioners who are ill. Celia, we are praying for you. Again, at Adel, we pray for our elderly. Lord, please, please, Lord, whatever they need, provide for them. And also, there's no yet, uh, no particular date yet that we will be able to uh, reopen our church. So uh, please bear with us. Um, please always stay home, stay safe. And also, uh, please just be creative in your uh, spiritual life. There are so many ways instead of uh, in place of the Sunday Mass, uh, gather together as a family, read the Bible, pray together, say the rosary, read a spiritual book. There are so many ways. Pray to our Blessed Mother. And also, uh, you may fast. You may uh, give your food to me. Huh? Sorry. But anyway, I'll pray the rosary again. Uh, and also, thank you so much for all your financial support for our church. Thank you for all your envelopes and uh, your online giving. Thank you so much. Uh, we really appreciate your, your generosity. And also, if ever you uh, want a little shower every day, please uh, visit our website. Uh, please read the, a little sprinkle uh, to read God's Word and to uh, learn some reflection about God's Word. Hmm, that's like a homily, but anyway, if ever you find my homily long, ask the Holy Spirit to tell me. EJ, thank you very much for the video. Really appreciate it. If you want quality video, just um, look for EJ. I have his number. Felix, thank you very much. Nani Zen and also Gabriel. Thank you for singing for us too. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And go in peace, glorifying God by your lives. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia, alleluia. See you again next Sunday. Bye.
Love you.